Okay, so this video is about user authentication in Checkpoint Gaia R77. So, user authentication is basically nothing but it provides access to users to create. I mean, you have to create a few users, user groups, and you provide access to them, uh, different servers on the network, and you apply different policies on them. So, let's get started. So first of all, we will need users and a user group to imply our policies on. So we'll just create one user. So go to users. I'll name it U1. Your authentication, how it will be authenticated. So there are several types over here. I'll go with checkpoint password. I'll enter a password. So uh, we imply our policies on user groups, not simply just one user. So we'll have to create a user group for that. So we'll create one and add our user to the group here. Okay, so we are done. We created a user and a user group. Now we'll create a policy for them. source will be G1 our group because they will be the one who will request for services and destination will be the external PC which I have configured a telnet server on it so our users will ex uh, access the telnet server on the external PC uh, and they will first have to first have to authenticate themselves as they are authenticated uh, users so for that we'll add service telnet here here user authentication and track logs okay save the rule and install policy So installation is complete so let's try it I'll fire up CMD and I'll tell that our external PC which is 20.0.0.2 where our telnet server is based so okay so here you can see checkpoint firewall 1 authenticated telnet server running on firewall so user will add user 1 password and user one is authenticated now we will connect to the server yes voila it is connected to the telnet now so you see here first of all it just checked if the user is genuine to use the service yes then then and then only it'll connect to the telnet server so this was it fairly easy and so Goodbye for now. Like, share, and subscribe.